For example, robots.txt. We've been in the room with the, with the guy that wrote the robots.txt protocol talking about how to enhance it to get AI controls and to signal you know, website preferences for the end use of that data. How to record it, how to express it. Of course, we would just include all of that in, in the collection audit trails and everything else. You know, we're very clear. We're, we're like the robots.txt is a few different bots that are allowed to pull data, and they're all crawlers. They're search engine crawlers. They're not scrapers. Scrapers, and they, and they often will forbid certain directories, like the search directory. If you're looking for a price, if you're looking for review data, if you're looking for sentiment, you want, con you want to follow the consumer in a, in a post-cookie world, you've, you've got to do searches on these sites. You can't follow the robots.txt. And these are mission-critical use cases. I mean, we have over 20 government agencies that are fighting human trafficking and, and all kinds of things. The communication shows up in reviews and places you wouldn't expect. We can't follow robots.txt. The investment industry can't, can't follow robots.txt. For the most part, we, I think we have one customer that, that does. Nobody else does. Um, terms and conditions, same problem. You could say with LLMs, it's machine readable. It's not machine readable. It's a huge expense. Nobody's telling you when it changes. It's, it's just very problematic. The bot blocking that, that sites are doing doesn't really work. It really works. So what we've been advocating, and I think we're gaining, you know, we're really gaining folks' ear, is to have a set of standards for responsible data collection that we all agree to, we align on, and we implement as a standard that can be attested to like SOC 2. And so that's what we're proposing. That's what we're advocating. That's, you know, we've built our entire platform to support this. Absent litigation, we're obviously way ahead of the law. There are certain things that we will not do. That's accepting terms and conditions. When there, when there is some kind of a click wrap that forces you to accept the terms and conditions, we won't do that. If there's any personal data, we have to make sure that it's all handled with consent and in, in line with CCPA and GDPR. If there's copyrighted information, it has to be a transformative use case. Basically, everything that's published in the web data collection considerations under FISD, we're following. Most folks in finance are following. But these are concrete steps that you can take to mitigate risks. We're continuing to work on setting new standards to continue to chip away at the risk that we are dealing with every day.